Answers. We're joined right now by Ashley Banfield, host of Banfield. Thank you for being with us. Very bright and early this morning. Ashley, you have a special guest on. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, hi, Adrian. Um, it's it's great to be on your show. Thanks for inviting me. We're we're going to be speaking with Joe Petito tonight, and um, this has been just an extraordinarily difficult time for the Petito family. I think as anyone who's watching right now, Adrian, can imagine. First, they had to go through the ordeal of not knowing where their daughter was for weeks on end. Um, couple that with not being able to tap into the number one resource that might have been able to help them. That would be Brian Laundrie's family. They were stonewalled at you know every step of the way. Um, and then being given this just horrendous news that uh, a sweatshirt had been discovered in the Wyoming park uh, where they were last spotted. Um, and that sweatshirt being a special sweatshirt of Gabby's. So just horrifying news for this family, what they've been through. Joe Petito is Gabby's father, is that correct? Correct. So one of the things that's really unique about this family, maybe confusing for, for folks that don't have mixed families, I have the same mixed family where four of us parent our children together. It's the same for Gabby's family. Joe has a wife named Tara. And then uh, Gabby's mom, Nicole, has a husband named Jim. And that stepdad, Jim, went out to Grand Teton and actually was there uh, when the sheriff's deputies uh, told them that they had discovered oh. the remains and that the sweatshirt was likely Gabby's. And, and it was Jim that, that got on the conference call, Adrian, and told the rest of the family back home in Long Island that indeed it was, um, it was Gabby. He also built that, that tiny little memorial in the grand shadows of those mountains uh, to, to Gabby, a stone cross and a, a small um, collection of flowers. It's just, this story has captured so many people's attention. You, you mentioned the blended families. I think most of us come, I mean, at least we have somebody in our family who is just like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but keeping all of the names straight, there are so many people who have come out in support of the Petito family. And uh, of course, they've been very vocal throughout this inve investigation. They publicly have said that they believe that Laundrie's parents know far more than what they're sharing uh, with anybody, including investigators. Um, but it sounds like the laundry's father has actually been asked to go and help with the investigation now. Does this surprise you at all? I, I mean, I was gobsmacked because my first inclination was to think, well, what could he do? I mean, you know, for over two and a half weeks, Adrian, some of the best searchers uh, in that state have been combing that reserve, the Carlton Reserve. They've had bloodhounds. They've had heat-seeking devices. They've had drones. They've had swamp buggies. They've had, uh, you know, a, over a dozen different agencies with all their expertise looking for Brian Laundry because the parents told us that's where he headed off hiking. Here's the problem. They told us he headed off hiking on Tuesday the 14th of September, and then just in the last few days misremembered it and suggested, oh, maybe it's a day earlier on the 13th. So the reliability of the information coming from the laundry household is definitely something that uh, begs scrutiny. Uh, so the fact that they would ask Christopher Laundry, Brian's dad, to come on over to the reserve and give us a hand, I think it's odd. I think there's definitely some strategy going on there. Regardless, that was called off yesterday. That plan to have him help was called off yesterday. Oh. Uh, they, they, they hope it will return, they say. They hope they get a chance to, you know, jump in and, you know, help out. We're ready to get answers to this and find Brian Laundrie. And I know that the conversation must continue uh, for the sake of this story and this family getting closure. Ashley, thank you so much. We really look forward to watching this interview, this big interview tonight on Banfield. Of course, it airs at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, right here on News Nation. Get some rest. Get along.